Esme was drowning. Not literally, of course, but financially. A single mother of three young children, she juggled childcare with a never-ending series of dead-end jobs. The local newspaper offered nothing but disappointment, rejection after rejection for every position she applied for. It was time for a drastic change. Esme decided to take a chance and walked into the office of renowned corporate lawyer, Daniel Wright. I'm resourceful, determined, and willing to do whatever it takes, she declared, her voice laced with desperation. It was an unorthodox approach, but Daniel saw a spark in her eyes. Despite the unconventional job application, Esme landed a position as a file clerk at Wright Law. While the work was mundane, organizing documents day in and day out, Esme wasn't one to settle for mindless tasks. Her sharp mind craved stimulation. One day, while sorting through a box of legal papers, she stumbled upon a curious inconsistency. Medical records were haphazardly mixed in with property deeds, a blatant violation of standard filing procedures. Curiosity peaked, she delved deeper. The documents belonged to a small town called Willow Creek. A colossal corporation, Titan Industries, was aggressively acquiring properties there. But why were medical records involved? As Esme delved further, a chilling suspicion arose. It seemed Titan Industries was buying up land at an alarming rate, and the medical records belonged to residents who were inexplicably falling ill. Esme couldn't sleep that night. Was Titan Industries hiding something? Were the residents of Willow Creek in danger? Torn between her responsibilities to her family and a growing sense of injustice, she knew she had to do something. Consulting Daniel, she shared her concerns. Initially skeptical, he was won over by her passion and the mounting evidence. Together, they embarked on a clandestine investigation. Esme, with her disarming demeanor, visited Willow Creek, speaking to residents about Titan Industries and their recent health concerns. The townspeople, initially wary of outsiders, warmed to her genuine concern. They spoke of the generous corporation that offered free health screenings, only to discover later that the residents were suffering from an unidentified illness. Esme realized Titan Industries wasn't the benevolent company they portrayed. They were exploiting the town's trust, buying their land at a discount while concealing a devastating environmental hazard. Armed with this knowledge, Esme and Daniel knew they were in for a David versus Goliath battle. But they were determined to fight for Willow Creek. They assembled a team of specialists, environmental scientists, medical experts, and sympathetic lawyers. Esme's relentless research uncovered the truth. Titan Industries was responsible for a toxic leak that was contaminating Willow Creek's water supply. The corporation, however, had been ruthlessly suppressing this information to avoid liability. The fight against Titan Industries was long and arduous. Threats and intimidation tactics were employed by the corporation but Esme and Daniel persevered. Finally, they filed a historic lawsuit, 
The Residents of Willow Creek vs. Titan Industries The courtroom was a battlefield, filled with high-powered lawyers on Titan Industries' side. But Esme, her voice steady despite her nerves, presented the overwhelming evidence she and Daniel had gathered. The verdict was a landmark victory. Titan Industries was found guilty of environmental negligence in order to pay a hefty sum in damages to the residents of Willow Creek. The case also exposed their underhanded tactics, tarnishing their once pristine reputation. More importantly, the water leak was contained, ensuring the safety of Willow Creek's residents. Esme could have quit right law after the victory. She and Daniel were rich enough to retire comfortably. But Esme, forever changed by the experience, continued working there. She became a beacon of hope for ordinary people battling powerful corporations. Her unwavering determination and sharp intellect continued to make a difference, one case at a time. 